Tinkerbrite 908. Um, I know it's been a long, long time since I made a makeup tutorial, so I decided to make one for you guys. Um, I couldn't really decide what to do, so I decided to um, make a tutorial um, after one of my pictures on Facebook. Um, I don't remember exactly what products I used because that picture was taken a couple years ago. Um, so I kind of tried to recreate it based off of what I own now. Um, so it's pretty similar. It's not exactly the same, but it's um, it's got teals and a lime green and then browns in the crease. And um, liquid eyeliner, you know. Um, really quick, I just want to run through... Um, some of the products I used on my face because um, I didn't show that in the video so real fast um, on my cheeks I have oh, where is it on my cheeks um, for bronzer and kind of like a contour I have as always um, my Hula bronzer by Benefit it's just a matte brown color it's seen better days as you can see it's pretty beaten up but I love it. Um, on my cheeks for blush, um, I used NARS um, Orgasm Blush, which is a very shimmery peachy pink with gold shimmers in it. Very pretty. Looks good on all skin tones. And then um, also for blush, you know, just to blend in the um, contour to the, um, the peach color, I used... Uh, Fox in a Box by Hard Candy, and it's in Skinny Dipping, and I only used this, <laughs> I used this dark side here. It's kind of like a bronzy, peachy color. See it? Um, okay. Mascara I used was Voluminous um, Million Lashes in Black is Black. I love this mascara. Concealer for under my eyes. I used um, Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque. And it's a peach tone, which will counteract with those blues and purples under your eye. I love this. <sighs> to set my foundation, Mineral Veil. It's just a translucent powder with a big fluffy brush. Um, oh, to apply my brush, MAC 109 Perfect Blush Brush. Oh, uh, my lips, lastly, my lips. I used Revlon's, I don't know, Revlon's lipstick, I don't know what, like, you know, what the collection's called, but it's in Soft Nude. It has no shimmer in it. It's pretty. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I know it's been a while, I don't know, I just felt like recording... A tutorial so if you guys want to know how to get this crazy teal green look just keep watching bye guys okay to start off this look we're going to be using a base soft ochre paint pot by Mac we're just going to place that all over the lid all the way up to the brow bone this is going to allow for your eyeshadows to stick and to be more vibrant Okay, and as a second base, we're going to be using a white base by NYX. Uh, we're going to place this only on the lid. Um, this is going to allow for the, that bright green and teal um, to really pop and just stand out more. Next, you want to take a small eyeshadow brush and a light bright green color. I'm using one by NYX called Light Green. Place that in the middle of the lid. Pack that on well. Next, you want to take um, the teal color in the Blue Had Me at Hello palette from Wet n Wild, and you just want to place that on the outer corner of the eye, right next to the green. Um, pack that on pretty well with the small eyeshadow brush, and then you want to flip the brush over and continue to blend it into that light green so that it blends very well. Next, I'm going to take a crease defining brush. It's a fluffy brush. We're going to blend out any harsh lines that that green and teal made. Just blend it well until you get a nice soft blend. Take that Wet n Wild palette again and we're going to mix the top two colors together. 
and we're going to put that on the inner corner of the eye blending into that light green color and just pack that on well also and put that on the um, tear duct area as well. Next take a crease brush and we're going to um, put in our crease color. I'm using Smog by um, Urban Decay. You're just going to put that in the crease and kind of get your shape ready. Um, I'm flaring mine out on the outside corner and you can tell it kind of comes into a point. Next, we're going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend out that um, smog color just so it's nice and soft. Then to deepen the crease, I'm going to take Max Mold Cider, which is a cool tone brown with that same crease brush and place that in the crease just to really define it more and to get your crease to really stand out more. So just continue to blend um, until you get the necessary amount of darkness that you need in the crease. Okay, and next you want to apply your highlight. Apply um, a matte shade that's closest to your skin tone all over your brow bone and in the inner corner. And lastly, you want to choose your favorite mascara and your favorite liquid liner and you're all finished. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Bye.